Happy Autism Awareness Month from all of us here at EAP Malaysia. This is our third Q&A video tutorial and we have got two questions to answer you today. So the second question for today is what do I do? My child likes to tiptoe when she walks around. Why does she do that and how can I stop it? Well, there are a number of reasons why people tiptoe, why children with autism tiptoe. Usually it could be because of a sensorial reason. They may not like their feet to touch certain floors or certain textures or certain uh, climates of the floor like cold versus warm versus different tiles and rough textures. Uh, then sometimes it can develop into just an, a rigidity or an inflexibility. For some kids, uh, genuinely, their motor movements, they don't like walking flat-footed and they want to walk on tiptoes, uh, and that sometimes can happen as well. Now, what is really important is you do want to prevent or stop this behavior pretty soon, because if a child continues to walk on tiptoes for a very long time, the arch of his foot can actually be developed that way. And eventually, the only way to get that child to walk flat-footed is to actually have a, uh, a foot surgery or operation. So you do want to try and prevent that as soon as you can. Now, there's a number of ways you can prevent. The first we're going to talk about today is actually uh, catching your child walking nicely and saying, hey, I like the way you're walking so nicely. And if they are walking on tiptoes, so just gently tap them on the shoulders and say, walk nicely and just remind them to walk on, on both feet. Now you just want to be careful that you don't give attention. If you watch our first video, we talked about not reinforcing behaviors you don't want to continue. So don't scold, don't start to give lots of like, don't do that, why are you doing that? Because that will actually make that behavior even stronger or more established. Now the second and third are somewhat similar. They're actually foot type of exercises and one is to wear heavier shoes. When you wear you know, certain types of boots or shoes that uh, have heavy soles, it's quite difficult to tiptoe. So you want to try and get those kind of shoes and if for a season your child needs to even wear it indoors, that's fine because it will sort of curb this tiptoeing habit. The next thing that you can do is also to get your child to walk up a slanted platform or a slope because that will actually help your child again form their feet to have to walk on a flat, face, uh, flat based footing. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks so much for sending in your questions. We hope this is helpful. Do send us your feedback if you have any at info at autismmalaysia.com and don't forget to send in your questions for next week as it will be our last week uh, doing these Q&A videos in conjunction with World Autism Awareness Month. Thank you so much from all of us at EAP Malaysia.